Bay. I cannot wait to finally experience all of these slides and have an awesome day. Check it out, they have like one of the maintenance service bays open. I guess they're doing some work. They've been doing a lot of work like over the last few uh, nights. But this fog looks incredible. Like you can barely see the slide because of the fog. Well, there's regular fog and then they have like their mist going. Anyways, we're gonna head over to the main entrance. It's gonna be great. As I get up here to the top level of the parking garage at Universal's Cabana Bay, we get an even better view. We stayed in one of these rooms last night. It was pretty good, can't complain. We get into the park like an hour before it opens to the regular park guests, which is really nice. So it's gonna be worth it. And as I turn around here, this is the new expansion for Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort, one of the new towers they built too. And then you can sort of see crack a towel, except for the misses partially covering it up. And then the slides that I just showed you guys, that looks incredible. Like we were here last night, you can't really see a whole lot at, you know, at night, but during the daytime, or at least the morning, you get to see a lot and it looks, in, it looks incredible. Honestly, it looks amazing. I'm hoping it's gonna be a nice day today. I looked at the forecast, it does show rain, but not a whole lot of rain and it's gonna be later on in the day. Better view of Krakatau, you see that drop slide right there. They don't have the water flowing down it, so that's kind of why it looks like. See, that's the thing, like when they don't have the water flowing down it, it looks weird. It looks like you have an area that's just faded or whatever. I guess that's normal. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and head over to the main entrance for Volcano Bay. There's gonna be a lot of filming today. Like, I'm gonna be filming a whole lot, so definitely check out the rest of the videos I'm doing. I'm doing a video uh, just on the merchandise, so I'm not going to put everything into one video and make it super long. I wanna do like a video just on the merchandise, one on the food, maybe do a food review. I wanna make the vlog, here's the thing, I wanna make the vlog quick and short and simple. So let's do that and then everything else will be uploaded separately. I'm gonna do a whole playlist of just Volcano Bay videos. I like how they have a road path that goes right under this giant new hotel. This is cool. But one of the ways that Universal immerses you while inside of Volcano Bay is with the mist and then, I mean, you have the plants of vegetation. They kind of want to immerse you so you can't see anything outside of Volcano Bay. This is the Bayside Tower, the second tower that they built. And I'm now walking over to Volcano Bay from here. We'll check it out, I'm the first hotel guest at the gate. Very first guest. Actually, we're the very first guests. Are you guys excited for Volcano excited. Bay? They're experiencing it for the first time, just like myself today. So much to do, it's gonna be truly amazing. Right. I cannot wait. But this is the bag check area, right here. We'll check our bags and then scan our tickets actually at the main gate. But if you're staying at a resort, I believe you get into Volcano Bay an hour before opening. I know the Cabana Bay does. So you should definitely check the hotels and see which hotels offer the early morning ride access for Volcano Bay. This is where we will be entering into Volcano Bay for today. We're not taking the normal route, which involves going to the parking garage, taking the bus over to the drop-off or pickup, or really just drop-off area, and then walking under the bridge into Volcano Bay. I will show that process later. Actually, I'm doing a whole separate video on how to get to Volcano Bay. They have a manhole cover here with the Waturi logo or symbol right on it. So cool. I'm now in Volcano Bay technically. We're not in the park, but just got bag checked. I'm gonna walk up to the main entrance. Wait till you guys see this entrance. It's going to be pretty incredible. Here pretty early. It's about 7 a.m. right now. And then I'll go ahead and stand over by the entrance to Volcano Bay. And then we have the sign right here directing guests to the entrance. I'm guessing that this pathway is actually from the bus area where the buses drop off, but obviously they're not dropping off right now because it's only open for resort guests. We're gonna follow this path right up to the main entrance. And so if you're a regular guest, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the bus over from the first floor of, I believe the South Garage, and then it will drop you off. And actually this is the escalator that you would take up once you go underground, under that pathway. So this is what that area looks like. They have the escalator just currently closed. But yeah. I really like how they have the path 
kind of situated like this, so you kind of slowly get immersed into the park. And here it is, the main entrance. Wow. Love the theming here. Yeah, Volcano Bay. Wow. This is spectacular. I know it's just the main entrance, but I really like the way this looks. And at night, it's going to look even better. So I've noticed it's actually pretty much impossible to walk through the entrance without getting wet in some way. Anyways, because the water's kind of splashing everywhere. Anyways, this is what it looks like when you first arrive. You'll line up kind of over here to head into the park. Over here we have the hours generally. They display the hours and other information. I believe you can also purchase your tickets right here. So they have a lot of kiosks open for purchasing tickets and then the guest relations actually they have the uh, online pick up your ticket location right there the guest relations is actually over off to the other side I was actually wrong you can purchase tickets here and then the guest services is right here yeah looks awesome I love the theming for Volcano Bay they did a uh, spectacular job really really nice theming this might be the best water park I will experience, but we will have to see. As you guys can see, we have that volcano in the background. They also have lockers by the main entrance, but we're actually going to try to rent one of those canopies today so we can get a locker and then possibly some lounge chairs and stuff. Really like the way this is looking though. Love the main entrance. When you're Snapchatting at the Universal Orlando Resort, they have a lot of different geofilters, but they have some for Volcano Bay, or at least one for Volcano Bay, and that is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. By the way, if you wanna add me on Snapchat, it is at Brandon Blogs, or just Brandon Blogs. So, there's a look at the different geofilters uh, for Universal Orlando Resort. Oh, they're turning on the theming music. Wow. Now is officially time to head in. I need to show you guys a little bit more of how the process works for getting into the park and how Tapu Tapu works. To have the park hours displayed here and then the code of conduct I believe and yeah that is what they have so I cannot wait to head in it's gonna be a great day we get in at 8 a.m. instead of 9 which is like the normal park opening we're gonna stay till 8 we're gonna do the entire experience and I cannot wait to do it all it's gonna be incredible <laughs> Hey. 
So how does Tapu Tapu work at Volcano Bay within the Universal Orlando Resort? So as soon as you actually walk up to the main entrance for Volcano Bay, what you're going to do is you're going to scan your pass, annual pass, uh, you know, three park pass, regular, day pass, whatever it is. You're going to scan your pass at the main entrance. You'll come around here and I'm going to show kind of the process of how it works. So you will go ahead and scan your pass and they will register a band to your pass. They're going to tap it right there on the reader and it's going to register to your pass. They give you the band and then you are free to go. However, it's registered to your pass for the rest of the day until you return it. So while you're at the park, it's going to essentially be able to provide you, you know, it's going to hold your spot in line for attractions. You can actually put a card on it so that, you know, you can make purchases. You can use it for your locker to get into your locker and stuff. So there are a lot of different uses. We're going to show you all of the different uses today. They have the bands. Tapu Tapu. Ah, oh, check that out. Tapu Tapu. So how do you pay with Tapu Tapu? I have a whole entire instructional page on how it works. So you want to download the Universal Orlando Resort app first, and then you'll go to the wallet icon, you'll go ahead and enter in your credit card information and link your uh, Tapu Tapu to the app so that you can use it while in the park to make purchases. Linking my Tapu Tapu to my annual pass. Awesome. All right, thank you. And that is how it works. I've now entered the park. They have some cool photo opportunities. We'll show that later. Oh yeah. All right. We're now here. Volcano Bay. There it is. Krakatow. Looking good. Haven't been here since the grand opening. I am excited to be back though. Wow. That is a view right there. Like that is the view. I'm gonna show you guys the wave pool empty. Is that is probably what you guys want to see first. Kind of uh, unfortunate that I did miss the grand opening, but, or at least the big show, but I'm here to enjoy an entire day at Volcano Bay with the Waturi. It's going to be great. I got my three park preferred pass. I'm gonna come here a lot more in the near future and I'm so excited to come back here all summer long if I can. Yeah, my three park annual pass for all of the parks including Volcano Bay. Yeah, I'm here at Universal's Volcano Bay Water Theme Park, and as you guys can see, 
we have Krakatau right behind me. That is the volcano. It is, it is massive. They have drop slides from the top. They have an aqua coaster that interacts with the terrain of Krakatau. A lot of different slides and many experiences that I will be witnessing today. I am truly excited and I love the temperature of the water. Very nice and refreshing. Let's do some rides. going in but I also want to do a ride so I don't know we'll go in maybe halfway this is so cool though check it out like I have the whole thing to myself almost there's some people but it's like mostly empty the drop slide you can sort of see them coming through if you go over there there's like a clear tube oh they just went I missed it but wow like I said the water is it's so refreshing it's not too cold not too warm it's like the right temperature right now this is gonna be good i have a feeling this is gonna be really really good yeah love crack a towel check that out i think they're doing the opening ceremony right now here's some kind of soundtrack playing by the way can't wait for the night lighting tonight So this is one of the drop slides from the top of Krakatau. I think it's one of the tallest in Florida or like I think in the world, but not 100% sure. I have to fact check that. Anyways, I like how they have the water flowing down Krakatau. You can sort of see it over there. It's like little streams and stuff. Anyways, I think the total height, so it's like 192 plus feet to the very top. It's gonna be a crazy experience. They now have the waves going in the wave pool. Now I'm not sure what this is, if this is an actual separate pool or if it has to do with the lazy river. We will find out though. I really like the designs on the bridges and we can kind of look at the wave, or not the wave pool, but the lazy river. The entrance is right over there. There's two lazy rivers. I believe one is like a fast moving one and one is a more relaxing, slow type moving lazy river. Wow, that is something, that is cool. They have interactive experiences, so if you touch your Tapu Tapu, let's demonstrate this. This is one of the things that the Tapu Tapu can do. Let's see, is it working? Water's supposed to shoot out of these little tiki things. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I am tapping it. It's sort of recognizing it, maybe they'll do it, maybe it will work later. But yeah, many interactive experiences with your Tapu Tapu. So not just like beverage and food and the rides and stuff. Um, here's another view of the Lazy River. These slides are gonna be truly incredible. I cannot wait for these slides right here. And you do not have to carry the raft up the stairs, which is awesome. You also don't have to wait in lines with Tapu Tapu. Hold your spot in line, you can do other things while you're waiting. So yeah, no carrying up the rafts up the stairs. We can enjoy it and I am so excited. It's gonna be amazing. They also have a ride photo system installed on this slide right here. It takes your photo as you go down near the end. So you can pay for a locker in cash or a credit card. 
both forms of payment work. However, to actually access your locker, you use Tapu Tapu. So what you would do is once you get a locker, you touch your Tapu Tapu to this, it would register your band. Once you pay for a locker, you look for a locker that's available, you get to choose your locker. So this rental station is available. I'm gonna go ahead and scan my Tapu Tapu right here. Throughout the park you're going to have these um, totem poles with all these different kiosks and you can scan your Tapu Tapu. This is for Krakatau. Right now all you do is take your Tapu Tapu, scan it, and right now they're actually not giving return times because you can ride right away. But yeah. in 65 minutes. But people have done like just walkway videos up to the top. I saw you get your hand rolls like your best friend. Oh really? Why are you on a separate line? You're on the exit line. Oh I need a okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh look how close you get to the slides. The Waturi did a good job on this thing. This is a, it's been a long, long project for them. Happy to see that it worked out in the end. Top of Krakatau looks insane. 
I just did that, guys, I just did that crazy drop slide. I can't even remember what the name of it was, but oh my gosh. So you guys saw the, um, the travel up of the, you know, of the stairway or whatever. And it's a lot of climbing, but once you get up to the top, you're just terrified. Like you just can't, you can't, there's nothing you can do but go down really. You go down, it's such a quick experience. So much water is coming up at you. It's like it's impossible not to swallow the water. When you get to the bottom, it feels like you're like completely underwater. It's insane. Like you can't see anything. It's really quick, but you, you literally can't see anything. It's just, it's like a maybe four, five second ride, but it feels like it's forever. So it really is insane. I recommend it though. Hold your spot in line. See you in 60 minutes. I love how the lazy river interacts with the park so well. You can see I-4, there's no mountains in the background. Well, is Volcano Bay going to expand in the future? Question mark. So if you guys, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a GoPro mount attached to the slide. The GoPro housing, all you would do is screw on the GoPro. There's no way for us to obviously to get to it and hook up a GoPro. It's all universal. They probably have a forklift that they go up to do the attachments. That's cool though. Close they were to the edge. Oh yeah, you can see the GoPro mount.
So during the opening ceremony, which I missed, they had um, some of the Waturi people on the little boats going through the wave pool. Too bad they don't have that anymore, at least during the opening of the park. That'd be really nice. Anyways, though, it's definitely getting a little bit busy. I really want to try to do as many rides as possible, and then when the lines get long, focus on the wave pool as well as the lazy river and some food. We'll do food reviews and merchandise reviews. Check this out. They have these misters that are integrated into the pathway, spraying out water to cool you down while you walk. Very, very innovative. Yeah.